Hey, all right, it's Injustice 2, top eight at EVO 2017. My name's Ultra David. I am Katana Prime, and we are joined by an interesting friend of mine. Over the past two months, people have been crying about the top tier. Yeah? The Black Adam, the Aquamans. Yeah? And boy, do we have a surprise for you. Well, you guys can check out the top eight. It's on smash.gg. You click on EVO 2017, you click on Injustice, but what is it? What's going on here? Some people have said. Honeybee has came all the way from Canada, the great white girl, making top eight and winners. Flash. He is the one who has been saying that, that he's not very good, and here he is. Also on the other side of the winners is Hayate, playing Robin, all the way another preserved bottom five character. I don't understand how people feel these ways. Also from Canada. But, and also in the top eight. Yeah. If we swap to the loser side, just to give you a hint of the characters, Gross, my training partner, hailing yeah. from South Florida, Green Lantern. Yes. In the top eight at Evolution Finals. David? That's no, I'm I'm stoked for all that stuff. Uh, so Sonic Fox versus Honeybee. Yes. Sonic Fox Red Hood. predictably has been doing great, but with Red Hood. All right. the way. So uh, the when when that character came out, he identified it early as being very strong. Yes. There was initially some discussion, is he strong or not? Seems strong. I would say he Looks seems like strong. It to me. But I'll tell you this, Sonic Fox has lost zero games in EVO 2017 Like so the far. whole tournament. The entire tournament. He there's has there's a again. big P. The, the golden letters are here. And Sonic Fox is working on an EVO perfect. And he had one of the toughest roads to get into this winner's yes. top eight. He had an incredible cast of, of people to play against. He played against Silver Rye and Theo yes. and many more than that. And he <sighs> didn't lose a single game. So that's one side of winners. The other one, as you mentioned, Hayate. Yes. Hayate playing Robin all the way. Had a backup Batman just in case things went sour for Evo, but was able to stick with the Boy Wonder throughout the entirety of the tournament. His opponent is Dragon. Yes, which is the, the Aquaman we deserve. He is here. He has played solid gameplay throughout a bunch of tough calls. Vendetta was up against him two games to zero. He was able to run it back in a clutch performance. Dang. Clutched it out against Illusions. You know, the team kill. Once you get deep into the tournament, it's bound to happen. Absolutely. And Dragon, who didn't compete in Injustice 1 at all, all. Nope. A testament to hard work and dedication. Anyone can do it. Uh, in MKX, he became one of the strongest players yeah, in the world, absolutely. and he has definitely continued that. So then in loser's side, you mentioned Gross. Yes, we did. His opponent is Theo. Uh, Theo, who did not who did play Injustice 1, he did. then didn't play MKX. Disappeared for a little bit. Wasn't yeah, quite feeling it. A few years he was gone. And then when Injustice 2 came out, he said he would try it out. If he liked it, he would play it. He liked it. He's playing it, and he, it doesn't seem like he lost a, little bit a more step than at all. Life. He's in there. Not oh, at yeah. all. Playing yeah. a combination of Superman and Aquaman to get the job done. Mostly Superman. Yes. And again, the Kryptonian king from SoCal getting the job done. He's only lost to Sonic Fox, right? His, That's his it. teammate. So, okay, what are you going to do? So, Theo versus Gross. Then the other side of losers, Samij is in there. Samij is somebody who a lot of people talked about as making winners top eight. So, a lot of people expected. Yeah. He, Losers top eight instead, but still in there. Yeah, he did lose to Nubcakes, who is in fact still alive, trying to close it out. And using Catwoman, the hot topic character of the current season right now. Is she broken? Is she potentially the top? Samiz here to get the job done, but now we're going to get directly into it. Winner semifinals. All right. Sonic Fox against Honeybee. Honeybee has, I mean, he, he beat Forever King 3-0. Yes. To get in here. Right before the top 32, then he went on to defeat Gross 3 0. And Gross 3 0 as well. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, incredible play. He had to make comebacks doing it. He was kept out in those matchups quite a bit, but he when he made it in, the mix ups, the damage were all incredible. And right there, Sonic Fox with an excellent check. Those young man reactions. Checking Honeybee on that forward dash. And Justice forward dashes do have a decent amount of recovery. And if you're looking out for him, a quick poke, Red Hood having a six frame poke, able to get the job done. But now Honeybee activating the speed force, mixing up quite well, and here comes the corner conversion. A big part of this is those standing resets because that means he doesn't have to deal with the wake ups in, in Injustice. A move that you do from wake up after knockdown gets invincibility. It is a property in the game that certain moves get. So if you can keep the opponent standing, you're good. All right, Sonic Fox takes the first round, keeps the mine right in front. Meter burns that easy hit, confirmed. Background bounce, yes. And the setup. setup. Wow. That's a low mine and an overhead kick. All right, and Honeybee with a wake up of his own, challenging Ooh. Sonic Fox's meaty and the meter burn roll. He's been using that a bunch, and not just in get in situations, but after he gets a knockdown, to kind of have a left right mix up, a lot of interesting ideas. Yeah, and that was super smart in that sequence. Red Hood, a lot of recovery on the Gotham Stars toss, and Honeybee with the read. Oh, the point. movement. Right. Yeah, so you, you you can see the options for Red Hood. A lot of zoning potential, a lot of mobility as well. Underneath, 
But there's an the incredible wake up for him. Yeah, and that jump back dive away from Red Hood. One frame on startup. A quick escape. Punish. And he knows Chip will do it, so anything. Oh, oh. And he whips it. Wait a minute. Hold Give on. Be a second chance at life is Sonic Fox. One setup into a mix. It's got to be something good. The delay wake up. Love it. The block. What an expectation from Sonic Fox. He knew he made the right read. That was a Red cross up. Hood. Red Hood is going to take game one here in the semifinal. Sonic Fox in his classic curry robe top. Good to go. But Honeybee almost made another comeback. All right, he's going to start it up here. Yeah, and no meter. The speed force. Wow, okay, an error for, for Honeybee, unusual. Yeah, Sonic Fox with the quick recognition to wake up. Remember, while the speed force is active, Flash cannot block. Peter Burns gets the conversion, leaves a mid screen. Pretty ambiguous, but the nice wake up back dash from Sonic to avoid any mix up potential there on the wake up. Yeah, so far he's known all these setups and he's dealt with all of them well. Pressuring, he can go overhead low, but he didn't do it. Well punished. Sonic caught trying to press a button. It's going to pay dearly for his life. Honeybee with the grown man damage here. Woo! 500. Wow! And he is not done. Wow. Amazing. Now, whenever the opponent has two bars, you got to pay attention when you're juggling them because they can do a flip out, like a burst, if they are willing to spend two. Sonic did it in the first game, but didn't bring it out there. All right. Unsafe with the lightning kick there, but Sonic not ready at the go with the punish. Honeybee wakes up, avoids it. Luckily for Sonic, there was no punish on the whiff stars, but Honeybee still in control here. That's a lot of meter on Sonic Fox Society. Chooses not to. Okay, you might want to clash now. He's, is what he going to do it? Amazing conversion from Honeybee. He's not doing it. What's going on on Sonic Fox Society right now? What's this decision about? Sonic Pound ducks under that high attack, and he's just taunting him with the low pokes right now. Honeybee in major control. Honeybee just needs chips, and he, you notice he was trying to not give a combo that could have been clashed out of. I don't know why Sonic Fox didn't clash earlier, but yeah. that was a big error, it looks you know, like. Honeybee said he came out to EVO in order to save the game. He used the powers of the Speed Force to go to alternate Earth EVO, where Flash wins in some capacity. Right. Next up is Sonic Fox, and off to a great what? start here in the second game, third game. Jump to start. All right, Sonic Fox, we've seen a lot, and he's had success, although he did not win CEO. But he's had a lot of success. Honeybee did not make it to the two majors we've had so far. He played in Toryuken at the start, and then not since then. So yeah. to have this success is very incredible. I mean, man, I add, he did win Toryuken, so Honeybee is currently a perfect one for one in Injustice Offline events. And he's going to get close to stealing the left part. Not quite. There's an overhead. And Honeybee looking just as clean as he left off in Injustice 1, the Flash God Lord himself. It looks amazing, yeah. The mix-ups are all good, the mobility is all good, movement is a huge part of the character. Pick and from huge part as well. There's a nice little jump there, this time the punish on the lightning kick, Sonic the down poke into that lunge, spins the meter to get the kill, and very smart strategy in Injustice. When you can chip out that first life bar, even if you have to spend an extra bar, you should, because each bit of damage after it's simply leverage on your opponent when a combo doesn't even matter. Set up, oh, but he wakes up, okay. Trying to move forward, you see those those uh, ninja stars and those mines, they all have quite a bit of startup, but right now not an issue. Sonic Fox, he's, he wants to maintain the corner, all right. trying to get it. Uses the plus frames on that Running Man stance now, so about plus four is Flash there. He has a super available now. We know Honeybee loves his supers. One hit confirmed, and he, Red Hood will be going through alternate dimensions and timelines. And if he does that, that's not breakable stuff. Oh, he's going to take a bet on this. Did he get it? There's in time. He oh! We're going for a ride, baby. Red Hood back into the pyramids off the base. Oh, wait, a T-Rex. He's hungry, but we have to come back to Earth-1. Life is hard. Sonic Fox came into this top eight having not lost a single game. Honeybee, 2-1 lead. What a change. Bang, bang. And right on cue, his brother Biohazard running up to the stage. He can feel it. The Canadian captain himself, Honeybee, Mr. Toronto, the Flash God Lord with this supposed bottom five character. Okay, well, there's going to be a switch. It's no longer Red Hood. Sonic Fox said he was going to run the whole way with Red Hood. I asked him, are you going to stick with it? He said, I'm confident in Red Hood. But now he's lost two games, and it's on the ropes to get into winner's finals. He has switched over to Black Adam. We'll see if he can make it work. Lots of damage, Looks lots like of mobility, but bad wake up, and that can be tough against Honeybee Splash. Yeah, but opening the game with a 500 damage combo looks like pure business time to me. Sonic Fox only wants to do as much work as necessary, and if it takes two combos to defeat the life bar, then Sonic Fox is all about it. Okay, Honeybee now trying to pressure. Oh, I love it. But he couldn't quite get there. Forward one to seal it for Sonic Fox. Fast, moving string, great footsies. Yeah, and that life bar was gone in less than 30 seconds. Sonic Fox not worried about anything. Great imposing block. his will. Okay, little interruption. 
defaulting to overhead block as you typically do against Black Adam. Oh, and no ball. punish? Oh, got something. Down two works out in his favor, looking for the overhead. Great delay, wake up from Sonic Box. Enough recovery to get a down one into the Palpatine hands. That, ooh, really? What a call out. What's this? And I'm not sure what he expected there, but whatever it was, did not work out for him. Meter burn. And another check on that forward dash. The win button is activated. Pop the tray in a pixel situation, and all you have to do as Black Adam is simply wait. Honey Bee rushing his way in, running into his own demise. Flashed a little too fast on that jump, and here we are. A decisive game five to open up the first set and winner's semifinals. Black Adam. Black Adam, of course, back to it. The winner has to stick with the same character. But you know for Honeybee, there's not going to be a switch. It's the Flash still. That's what's brought him all this way. He's just going to run it. I asked him about the character. Why do you just stick with the character if you don't think he's great? He just has a good time. He just really enjoys it. He feels very comfortable. But look, to make it into winner's finals right now, you're doing all right. Yeah, you're having a good day. Strikes first and a great upgrade from a Justice 1. The Flash was an acrobat character who only did like physical stunts off of moves, but now able to drop bombs on background interactables, and now Honey Bee with the jump start on Sonic Fox. And this is the bad news for Sonic, Sonic Fox right now. He jumps out, okay. Bad wake up for Black Adam. Oh, meter burning it, and he's got the corner still. And right back to it. Don't you love an update to a character? Honey Bee. Oh, and no punish on the normal dive. Oh, the pitch blocks cross up. And Honey Bee's defense. Oh, not that time. Oh, boy. Sonic Fox has won the last two NRS games at EVO. Can he get into winner's finals or not? Right in the double get out kick combo. Traits up. Okay. Big time damage. Spins the bar to make sure he secures the kill. Both guys, final life bar, two to two. Who will make it into the winner's final? I like the idea, but a little bit off. And he's going to break because that was going to be a lot of damage. For sure. Honey Bee with the super call outs, believing in his reads. A little too early on that draw. Forced to clash here, but still in a very respectable position. Punish. Oh, the drop, though. He does have that overhead low mix up. He's trying to make it work. Again, Black Adam does not have a good wake up. It's very slow, but it hasn't been an issue for him. Here's damage, and he does break. Although, Honeybee had not yet used the trade. If Honeybee finds a big combo coming up, he could still do a lot of damage. He saves a bar as well. Yeah, the smart stuff now with no clash. Any touch can lead into about 500 damage for Adam, but instead the anti-air flash runs it better. Anti-air attacks in the game with that down two. He just jumped out, and here's the air to air. Flash, Honeybee needs a setup. The back dash. And get Honeybee to it again. It was Honeybee. Getting it in there. Who's this set. might be it. He punishes the landing recovery. Honeybee. No, the drop. He got it after all. Oh, Honeybee makes winner's finals. Back to back. Honeybee in his first MKX Evo since Sonic Fox to losers. And here he is again two years later. Sending the Fox to losers in Injustice 2. The Flash God Lord himself getting the job done. Now. He's the man who made top three three years ago. He's going to do better than that now. He's guaranteed it. We talk about stats and premonitions, right? Sonic Fox has attended three Evos. Sonic Fox has won three Evos, all of them from losers. Ah, oh, you're right. This is par for the course. 2015, Honey Bee sent him to losers. 2016, Tekken Master reset the bracket in that classic. And in 2014, it was Big Little Hut who sent him to losers. Is this a part of the script? Is it? Is I don't the know. Fox going to go into the next level? Stick with us and find out.